hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you are doing great it is the first time you see my face my name is insomura willy i share content and master's application live as an international student in france i do vlog and share the useful content so if these are the kind of things that you might have interest in or maybe you don't have interest in but just like my face anyways please do join the community by subscribing liking the video and sharing it okay thank you very much In this video i want to quickly share with you how to apply to five key schools that i shared in my 243 to 300 and something euros um courses that like five schools in grenoble imp and cima those are the courses i'll be sharing in this video if you want to check out other courses that you can find in this school in this particular school but they're not at this price range you should watch um, my other video i made i'm going to put it on this screen so go and watch that video you're going to see other courses if you are not interested in this one because this one that's just five and they're really related to it computer science mathematics so it might not it might not interest you anyways so i'm going to share my screen i have with me here my laptop so i'm going to share my screen with you guys as i as we go along the journey okay i'm going to put the link of this website in the description so you, you go through it Anyway, so you see admission to music am msim cyber security and operation research so it, it listed the step by step that you should use to like follow and here you see the application platform when it's open it's open from december to like 30th so it's, it's already currently ongoing right now um and then for this one you don't need campus france you don't need to apply to this school through campus france praise god the only time you need campus france for this one is when you are doing your visa that's when you go to campus france so um you see the eligibility criteria and so on and so forth anyways for this english course if you studied in english you don't need to like submit any this thing like english certificates or so on it's only for persons that they're not from english-speaking countries those are the ones that might need to submit something so it's showing the, like the different degree requirements for the different five programs like I, I told you about and instructions and so on and then at this ending you see the admission process so in the admission process they list like the committee so normally in france they have like jury committees that take a look at your application and then when they sit after this meeting that's when they now decide who they will be taking and after this meeting that's when you now get identification to either come for an interview or you get your admission so you see they have up to like um how many dates they have up to like nine different dates that they'll be setting so right now as of today one jury has already sat already january 25th so for persons that already applied earlier they should have already gotten their response if they're taking or not so the next jury is going to be in on february 15th that's when the next jury will be sitting and then you have one in march one in april two in may two in june and one in july so just in case you watch this video like in june fear not you're not late still shoot your shot still apply okay you're not late in case you watch this video later 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 and it just tells you how to go on like i mentioned after getting your admission you now go to the visa process is when you go to campus france that's for persons that have campus france in their country that's etude en france um that's eef normally if you see the short form so it lists all the countries here that have to go through this and that's when you go you go to them for your for your visa process all right so we'll be looking i'm going i'm just going to share with you briefly um the application process or the application portal for this school i'm actually working with somebody on this particular program so just in case you don't know i actually offer more specialized services just in case you need assistance on your application process maybe you need someone to help you look at your documents make sure that you are applying like with the right documents just a disclaimer i'm not responsible for giving you admission i don't work with these schools my only job is to make sure that you're applying with all your best you know to making sure that your sop is on top your cv and everything that's just my job and then if you have interviewed to prep you for the interview process you know that's just my job but i can't assure you that you get you that you get admitted and moreover you'll be joining my network okay you'll be having access to my network to my information to the experience i've, I've built over the years okay so just in case you need the services just let me know i have the link in the description you can see the link how to reach out how to be a part of it okay so i'm just going to share with you briefly um the the application portal so this is from someone i'm working with right now we are currently applying to this so if you have not gotten your you don't have any account the first thing you should do is to create my personal space click on create my personal space and create your account but if you already have then you need you need to just like log in 
and from there you now see like the different procedures so as you already have an account already registered you're going to click on registered user and then you're going to log in and by the time you log in you see your space where you find like your own personal details you are going to follow like the different administrative information and if you have to make any changes to like your password so you are going to go straight to editing the application because we have already created an application we are just here to finish filling out so you have to cover the personal details so first of all you have the first one personal data where you find like your um the name and so on and then you have like the address and then this is where you have the motivation letter for this one they don't require to like submit a particular motivation letter they just ask you different questions as you saw before and here we select the master's program and for this one we are looking for applied mathematics in master's one and then we go to the recent educational and professional experience and you just like feeling like your referee like your who you want to be your referees you fill them two of them you can either upload it or you send them an email for them to upload it themselves and you also feel things about your previous academic um, um qualifications and then you now have like language competence that language competence you don't have a lot of things that, that you are being asked just ask are you fluent in english or you speak another language and so on and then you have where you have financial aid and this is where you should choose like how you're going to sponsor yourself then for us we selected self-support because she's going to be fully funded she's going to be self-funded so we selected um self-support in that part and you also saw there that you could choose if you want to be considered for a scholarship that's the idea scholarship it's once you take that they will automatically consider you for it so that is it so at that moment now we have submitted our application and now you have seen it has changed to successfully submitted so yeah that is what you see after you have successfully submitted your application and right now it's just for us to wait for the jury we have come to the end of this video thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was useful i hope it was helpful if it was don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up engage in the comment section even if you have any question just say thank you well done you know it encourages me okay just just tell me thank you okay anyways thank you very much for your patience for watching this video to this point i'm glad i'm great i'm glad that it was useful so do subscribe, do like the video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, bye. I feel like